Hey everyone, Dustin Rose here behind the Audix SCX25A microphone and the Rattlesnake XLR cable. Today we have the Gretsch Jim Dandy. It's a parlor sized guitar. Before we get into this, I want to tell you a story about what my first guitar. Uh, my dad took us to a garage sale when I was about 10 years old and maybe 11 years old and and there were two guitars that were for sale. One was, I don't even remember what it was. The other one was a silver tone nylon string classical guitar that happened to have a steel reinforced neck. It was an interesting, interesting guitar. They were both really old and in bad shape. And they had like $10 on both of them or something. And my dad says, I'll give you $5 for both. And they said, okay. So he took, he took both, gave one to me and one to one of my younger brothers a couple of years later. And let me tell you, I learned how to play on that silver tone, but it had really, really high action and it's had a kind of a bad, bad tone to it because it was so old and, and not well kept and the strings were so beat up and the action was just, was, was really high and not, nothing against silver tone. I've played some amazing silver tone guitars lately, um, since then. Uh, but this on the other hand is a beginner's guitar or a budget guitar that is way better than what I started with. So I wanted to start with that story with about my, my Silvertone uh, $5 for two garage sale special. Um, this one is quite a bit better guitar than that, so let's jump into it. Um, the the, uh, the front and, and back and sides are Agathis, which is a um, tone wood that's a little bit less expensive. It's a little bit softer wood, um, which gives it a nice, uh, a nice sound for this, um, this level of guitar. The uh, bridge and the fingerboard are rosewood, so they're familiar uh, materials for uh, guitars. The tuners are open back, which is kind of cool. This whole thing, the whole theme of this, the look of this is very retro. It's like 1940s, 50s Gretsch. Um, and it's a parlor size guitar, I think I mentioned that. So this is kind of going back to a day, um, an era when when dreadnoughts were not king, but it was um, parlor guitars and smaller orchestra models that were that were kind of the 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 name of the game at that point in time. Now this this definitely goes back to that time period. Um, now what I really like about this guitar is that even though it's it looks pretty and and it looks like a like almost like it could be a toy, it is absolutely not a toy. Um, this is a great. Uh, beginner's guitar like first guitar for someone who's a, a younger person who's just beginning or it's a really cool guitar to have just laying around um, you know you have it next to your your couch and you pick it up your sofa and you pick it up and play it's really good for for taking uh, on trips um, going camping having it around the campfire it's a really cool little guitar to have around that's durable that looks cool and it sounds pretty good too um, the thing I like about this is that even though it's it's it looks uh, almost toy like, and it's small, and it's a relatively inexpensive guitar, it actually tunes up really well, and it's very it's very true up the neck. What what I mean by that is it stays in tune pretty well throughout all of the chords, and for this uh, level of of um, budget, it's a really really good quality guitar for what it is. Now, these go for about 169 150 somewhere in there. Uh, you can usually get them well under $200, brand new. Um, used, you could probably get them around $100, uh, depending on what condition it's in. But, but around $150, brand new, is, is what you'd expect. Um, the cool thing about it is that it just stays in tune. It sounds good. It's got a clear sound. It doesn't sound like it's a, it's a uh, plastic box. You know, it sounds like a, a guitar. And um, it's not super loud because, it, again, it's a parlor size, but you can strum with it and get pretty good sound out of it. Um, it's really just a, a great guitar for, um, for people who are learning also because uh, the action is really good. It's pretty low action. It's not like, like my Silvertone where the action was high and trying to play it, you had to kind of grip the thing and claw it to get, to get uh, chords and bar chords and and to be able to, to play any sort of solos or anything like that with that. It was really a tough guitar to learn on. This, on the other hand, is a, is a dream to play. It's really easy to play. Um, in fact, this um, I'm, I'm not only doing a demo of this. My um, two oldest children, who are uh, actually my second and third oldest child, I should say, wanted to learn how to play guitar, and this is what we got. This is the one that we, uh, that we, w we went and picked out this one because 
number one, the action is really good, and number two, the sound, it stays in tune really well, and the sound of it is is pretty good. It's not toy-like. It's very much guitar-like. Very, very good sound, very good quality for the budget that we were at for the that, that level. So without further ado, let's go ahead and play this thing, see what it sounds like. <laughs> Well, the cool thing I like, the thing I really like about this guitar, as you can tell, is that it doesn't sound like a toy. It sounds like a real guitar. And it really takes on the, 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 the sound of the parlor shape. So you know it's really, it's a, it's a well-made guitar at the price range, around 150 
uh, the sub $200 range. It's really well made. It's really cool looking. Um, you know, I really recommend this for people who need to have another guitar around who are uh, need to have one around that they don't really need to keep in pristine condition. They can use this as a beat around guitar, go into the campfire, throw it in the back of the car, uh, go traveling with it, write songs with it, um, leave it at their cabin somewhere. Or for those who are brand new to playing, who need something that's not too terribly hard to play, it's got good action, it's got a decent sound, and, and it, it holds true um, tune up the neck, so it tunes up really well and it plays uh, evenly. Um, as you can tell, it's not very bassy because it's that parlor size guitar. It doesn't have a huge bass, um, and it has a little bit more pronounced uh, highs and mids. But, um, but overall, it's a, it's a well-voiced well guitar um, for this price range. Um, if, you're, if you're looking for, for something that's under $200, uh, th this might be one that you want to check out. Now, I'm Dustin Rose. I want to uh, in invite you to subscribe to this channel and to like this if you like what you're watching here. All the songs that I've played are originals or just um, riffing around. And if you uh, would like to listen to my music, you can find me anywhere you enjoy music. And if you really want to stay in touch with me, um, other than subscribing and, and liking this video, find my website. It's DustinRose.com. You can find out about all of the gigs that have been canceled because of the quarantine. Um, or you can find out about my recording that's coming out. I got an album coming out in a, a few months. Uh, it's it be my next album. It'll be pretty fun, uh, pretty awesome for me. Um, and uh, you can keep in touch with me by going to my webpage, uh, DustinRose.com. I uh, appreciate you coming here and watching these videos. And uh, let's have a musical conversation. If you have an opinion about this guitar, write it down in the comments and tell me what your impression is of this guitar. And if you disagree with me, Awesome. Let's have that musical conversation and let's keep it going and uh, and, and have the, the, the talk about this guitar and others. So I appreciate you coming here and uh, have a great week. God bless.